What are you doing? Sitting on that rock? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Have on the okay, hang on. We find ourselves back in South Florida for this video. We are really close to world famous Venice Beach, the self-proclaimed shark's tooth capital of the world. However, we are a little further south, what we like to consider kind of a hidden gem. We're at Casperson Beach. I think there's more shark's teeth here than there are in Venice. That's just my, our personal opinion, not a proven fact. It's a little more private of a beach, a little quieter, there's no snack bar, there's restrooms, amenities like that. The parking is a lot more limited than what you'll find in Venice Beach. Venice Beach has a snack shack, ample parking, you're real close proximity to the downtown restaurants and shops, but if you're looking for a little quieter beach, a little further down, and in our opinion, better shark's tooth hunting, then you're going to want to do Casperson. There's, there's Nicole right there. Wave, Collie. She's looking for some shark's teeth. We already dove right in. We didn't even wait to start filming. You know, we waited to start filming till after we uh, were searching for shark's teeth. George is already getting her a snack break in Holland. She's been bobbing around in the water, but it is beautiful here. The water is flat today. The skies are blue. Those beautiful Florida skies. A little storm way off in the distance. This is the Gulf of Mexico. Casper's is on the Gulf side. This direction, uh, you can see right over here, there's a little path, and there's a couple boardwalks a little further down. You might be able to see right under my finger there. It's busier down that direction because that's closer to the parking, so a lot of people kind of just, they're, they're spent by the time they get that far and they don't want to come down another 100 yards like we did. I'm assuming that right there, that little uh, area with the tape, looks like a sea tortoise, sea turtle nest. This is our, uh, this is our shark's tooth sifting area. There's our sifter laying in the sand. Our blankie that, or our, uh, our beach towel that we lay, sit on. There's, there's the remnants of the piles we've already searched through. holland has been picking up rocks. Don't ask me why she's picking up rocks in the, what's arguably the best shark's tooth hunting beach on the west coast. Snack time, George. That is one thing you do want to do. Like I mentioned before, there is no snack shack on this beach. What do you want to bring? Snacks and water, right, George? What are you eating, Pringles? Give me one. No, I'm kind of greedy. I'm gonna throw 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 uh, chips at you so the seagulls attack you. What? Why do I want? You're gonna give me the grubby ground chip? We and Cole's picking up trash. We always she brings a bag and whenever we're here and we see anything that's kind of garbage, we try to throw away, do our part, keep this place beautiful so that we can enjoy coming back over and over again. What are you doing, Hall? Let me see. What do you got under there? What the heck? There is a cicada under her hat. Hold still, Hall. It's not going to hurt you. I know. That's kind of funny. There's a cicada under my She's hat. She's got a cicada under her hat. Remove them. What the heck? Look at it. Off. Little cicada under Holland's hat. She was out in the water. He won't bite you. Well, he, take him back, back at the back. I don't know if they bite He or likes not. Holland's hat. So take your hat off. All right, Holland. Watch your glasses. Go take him back there in the grass. Don't hurt him. And dump him. All right, let's let's go release this go cicada. Show, show Georgie. You're just out there minding your own business. I it was me. Did it just fly and land on you? No, I no, I didn't see it fly and land on me. I just like glanced up and saw it. That's hilarious. Okay, this is brilliant. All right, just release it right there on that grass. Out of here. There he goes. Oh, he's, he could have flown clear over here. What a jerk. Yeah. 
All right, cicada rescue mission successful. Back to the beach. All right, we are gonna show you our technique for shark tooth hunting here. This is one of the techniques, there's several techniques. There's the shore walking technique where if you get here early and it's been after high tide, there'll be a, a line of shells washed up on the beach. You can just visually hunt those. We use a scooping sifter. We go out, we scoop up a, a batch of it, we bring it back, we put it on the ground right here. You can see our, our piles, put it in the jar when we're done. There's floating sifters where people will have make like a sifter that has pool noodles on the outside zip tied to it and it floats. They, they scoop some into that, they stand in the water. We couldn't find ours this morning, so we just went with our good old standby shovel sifters. So I'm gonna go shovel sifter a couple of scoops to see what we can find. There's lots of opinions where the best place to sift is at. Some people say that it's the, the wave line where there's a bunch of shells that just keep tumbling. Other people say to get out a little further where the heavier stuff is. I, I went out a little further to see if we could find some bigger material because I think the bigger material has a harder time washing up. And you end up with something like this. Just a pile. Your shark's teeth, you tend to want to look for something that color, they tend to be a darker, any of your fossils. But don't just look for shark's teeth, there's lots of things here. Already today, we think we found um, a piece of a turtle scoot, some, um, what are they, sunfishes? The mouth plates? Mm -hmm, I think so. Sunfish mouth plates. And then the other thing you find tons of here, see if I can find one, is stingray plates, like mouth plates that they use to grind their food. They're usually a rectangular shape, that may be one, but it doesn't have any actual plates, Serration. the, the serrations yes. left on it. We find 10 of those for every shark's tooth we find. Is that one? That looks like one. There's, there's remnants of serrations. This is, I, I could probably find you a better example. But there's the little teeth right here that they would use to grind their food. Little serrations. And they vary in size. You find some big, actually pretty good sized ones. You can find some that are real thin and tiny. Just like shark's teeth, vary in size. And you just sift through the pile. Spread it out nice and even. You always want to throw it to where you're casting your shadow behind you so you're not trying to hunt for the teeth in, in your own shadow. Put it up past the tide line. Nothing, yeah, there we go. There's one with a lot better serrations. See the, can you see the serrations on that? Just spread it around and look, and it takes a little luck. Once you see one, you kind of get the eye for them. And the, the color of all your fossils varies from kind of a, a brownish color to dark black. It just depends on what mineral fossilized them. And the, the size of the shark's teeth can vary tremendously. You can find stuff that's like a quarter inch long tiny little needle-like teeth and then people even find I don't know about on the shoreline or not but people even find megalodon teeth over here that are three four five six inches long there is a piece of shark's tooth it doesn't have a very good root on it and it's war but just like that come over to Casper's and find you some shark's teeth What happened? Did a crab touch her? <laughs> oh, it touched my leg. Up here by the uh, the beach, the ADA beach access. This little, little breakwater, lots of boulders. Really cool though. Have little things growing on them. Probably little critters in between them. Holland's finding lots of rocks. 
We're at the, the best shark's toothing place in the, you know, western coast of Florida, and here she is finding rocks instead of shark's teeth. But the water is beautiful today. This end of the beach is noticeably, noticeably busier. Lots and lots of people. Of course, close to the parking lot. Close to the beach access. Lots of people. Further that way, a lot less people. Our beach advice, walk further south along the beach and you'll have a lot less people to deal with. Find you a better spot, more private, secluded. And here's these beach monkeys looking for good stuff in the rocks. Well, that'll do it for today um, from here at Casperson Beach, Venice, Florida. If you're looking for a beach that's a little more quaint, a little quieter, a bit more secluded than Venice Beach, head a little further south to Casperson. Venice Beach, the self-proclaimed shark tooth capital of the world. Like I said before, we beg to differ. We think you can find more shark's teeth here. A little quieter, does not have a snack bar. There are no lifeguards on duty, so swim at your own risk. A little bit rockier of a beach. Um, but. A great beach nonetheless. The water is beautiful. It was a beautiful day today. Found lots of teeth, lots of skate teeth. We'll probably show those to you in a picture later. That we are close to the airport. There is a great little restaurant, a little hidden gym out at the out at the uh, the airport. We've eaten breakfast there before, and they they have some unique items. A local spot. It's off the beaten path, so you don't see a lot of tourists there. But we had a great time today. Make sure you uh, like the video. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you do like it. Subscribe to the channel and hit your notification bell if you want to see more videos of us going to beaches, us going to the theme parks, some of our critters. Um, but just subscribe to the channel. Thank you and until next time, have a great day.